Okay, so we're now in this next lesson. Um, naputol siya. But anyway, um, ito na yung next, next year, for example. We're making plans for next year. So, just pick pick any any day. Okay, obviously, kung anong day kailangan. But uh, let's say January 9th, uh, title. Let's say meeting. And then you just click on save. Okay. Um, if you are doing this for your client, then make sure that you are putting it on the right calendar. Okay. So it, usually, ito yung pag all day is sabihin dun lang siya sa day na yan. But if it's like a, a one to two hours lang, pwede mo siyang unclick and then change mo yung oras. Yan. So actually, medyo ano naman to eh. Yeah, straightforward siya and uh, minsan kailangan mo lang magpay attention so kung anong itsura niya. You can click save. You can view more options. Ito yung magiging itsura. Yan. Add the location if you have that. Uh, description. So if this is for a client and it's for a meeting, pwede mo ilagay kung para saan to, sino kausap mo, notes, um, link sa mga blog or let's say a copy nung mga nung meeting minutes nyo. Okay, so you can put that in there. So when the client sees the event, dun sa calendar niya, they can check it and uh, and maybe on their way there, uh, they can review kung anong meron. Okay, that's something that you should do as a virtual assistant. Okay, so you can add guests here. Yan. And ma notify sila via email and they can accept or decline. Okay. So let's say that's done. Yan din lahat. Yan. Ito mag-notify ito sa mobile ng, ng client and yours. Okay. And let's say that's done. So let's click save. Yan. So as you can see, andito na siya. Meeting with Stacy. Yan. So for example, I don't want to add yan sa Alpha VA. Ito, ito lang, well, hindi ko siya makikita. Okay? Unless, nilagay ko siya here. Ay. So, right here. Swimming, let's say, it's a personal thing. Yan. Diba? Yan. But, if you, para kung gusto kong makita na kung saan na ako nag-overlap, then, um, pwede ko silang i-click parehas. And that's actually it when we're dealing with calendars. Iba-iba lang yung itsura nun. Um, I can also show you Calendly. Okay, so this is how Calendly looks like. Now, ang kaibahan ng Calendly sa regular calendar is this is made for appointment. Appointment setting talaga siya. So, ang mga nangyari dito, instead of internally nagalagay tayo ng event doon sa calendar ng client, they can use Calendly. So, Calendly will create a link for the client and then yung client or us, we can give it to someone, let's say, uh, someone na gusto silang makameeting. So, kung sino man yung, yung tao na yon they can add doon sa, dun sa calendar ng client without really having access to it. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like. So, Sa Calendly, ay, sa Calendly, you can create event types. And by the way, this is a free, um, this is a free service. Okay, so you can create this on your own, and I highly suggest that you create your own Calendly account para matutuka. And you can use this when you are um, talking to uh, prospective clients as well. Okay, so let's say here, I'll create an event type. An event type is uh, a type of uh, appointment dun sa calendar mo. So, you can create. Um, may mga title ka dyan and then pwede ka maglagay kung tag ilang minutes yung isang event. So, let's say this one. It's a 10-minute discovery call. So, you can have one or more. Para sa free accounts, you can only have one but para dun sa mga paid, you can have more. Okay. So, what what 
uh, what event is this. So, ito yung title niya, location, Skype, or Zoom. So, I do this for the for our prospective clients para sa agency. So, if we they want to talk to me uh, on a call, let's say Zoom or Skype, then they can um, schedule one. So, I'll give them the link. I'll show you how later. So, how, when can people, people uh, book this event? Yeah. So, makikita yung duration. So, per event or per slot is 15 minutes. And I get to control hanggang saan lang yung pwede nilang mabook. Let's say, uh, Mondays to Fridays, available lang ako from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Yan. And then, obviously, Sundays wala. And then, Saturdays, ilang oras lang, mga 6 hours lang. Okay. Ito yung mga questions. Okay. So, I can ask people questions when they sign up. Diba? And you can also collect payments. So since this one's a free one, you'll have to up upgrade your account. Pero you don't need this. It's just uh, the fact na uh, you can schedule meetings is very important na. So I'll show you how it's gonna look like sa end ng client. Uh, or, or nung gusto makipag-meeting. Okay, so let's say ito yung link na meron. And then when they get to that link, yan. So they can select any day. Because let's say they want to talk to me on Wednesday. Yan. So they can select a time. So any, obviously, ilalagay mo dyan yung kung saan ka available. Okay. Pwede po sila mag-ganyan. So, what's the name? Let's say, my name is Stacy. The email address, blah, blah, blah. And then, schedule the event. Okay. So, email address. Ayan. So, let's say Skype. And then, schedule the event. Okay. Uh, I forgot. Okay, yan. Ah. And that's it. Okay? So, sa side ng client or sa side ng may-ari ng Calendly, um, they will get a notification sa email. Yan. So, mahigit na ng client mo. Ayan. So, automatic na yan. Parang naka-yes ka na agad yan. And, sa Google Calendar na, mahisa niya to. Automatic na siya dun sa Google Calendar. So, um, they can link not just Google Calendar if they're on uh, an iPhone or a Mac. They can also add their Apple Calendar there and other calendars. So, maganda yung Calendly for, for people that's on the go kasi um, nakalink na siya sa maraming bagay. And uh, if you're wondering if a client wants you to have access to their Calendly account, they can send you access without giving you a login. So some of the most important things when working with calendar management, and if you're talking to a client, um, or let's say you're not really hired for calendar management and VA gonna, and the client suddenly wants you to do calendar management, so. Uh, para sa'yo as a virtual assistant, every time na may ganong offer, um, uh, you have to know and understand what's important to the client. So, you have to know your client. Okay? You have to make sure um, that the calendar is shared to both you and the client and that you can see uh, the calendar from a mobile phone and it's the same with them. Okay, kasi especially for clients that's on the go, yung mga calendar events nila, titignan nila yan using their mobile phone. So, ito yung mga kailangan tandaan in making sure that you're managing your client's calendar well. Okay? And the last thing is, uh, calendars has to sync properly. So, uh, when a client gives you an access, ask if you can create a sample event. Okay? Yung char-char lang na event. And have them chef, uh, check if mag-appear ba sa side nila, either sa calendar nila sa sa phone, sa laptop, or, or computer. Uh, uh, because 
uh, para maaga pa lang, may kita mo na or nyo na if may challenges sa syncing. So, baka hindi compatible yung device mo o yung device ng client. Baka may kailangan i-download. Baka mali ng login. So, may mga ganun. Okay? So, baka may issue ka sa internet mo and, and other stuff sa accounts. Right? Para maayos mo. Hindi yung... Uh, kasi especially for events, it's very important na na nakikita nila agad and maayos. So, kung meron palang abiria in the first place and you, as a virtual assistant, you did not foresee that, um, that's not good for you. Okay. So, calendar management is for clients who um, who tends to lose track of time. Okay. Usually, ito po talaga yun. Um, or they can't spend time managing their own calendars, or for them, prioritization is a challenge or cumbersome. Um, it's also for clients who are always on the go. And uh, means new scheduling, it happens when they are not online. So means new scheduling, hindi sila na decide na, the VA decides the scheduling for them. Okay, because baka they need time to recuperate, they need time to rest. Okay, and... It's also good for clients na need ng constant reminder, okay? Uh, because means it's not enough for you to add the, the calendar event to their calendars and it's synced and they can see that. Sometimes you have to remind them, okay? So you ha really have to know uh, the day nung, uh, nung calendar, uh, nung, nung day na yun sa calendar ng client mo. So, um, email management needs collaboration, it needs practice para alam mo kung saan, and it needs clear captioning. Okay, remember dun sa demonstration natin kanina, I added a clear title, okay, meeting with this person. Okay? Even if meron dong uh, place where you can add more information, um, it's always best if the client can um, get the idea. Unang tingin pala nila, alam nila kung ano yung calendar nila. Don't just add meeting. Don't just add event. Okay? Um, so, yun. So, when negotiating for calendar management jobs, uh, for new and current clients, highlight your written English skills. Talk about the calendar apps that you can or have used. Um, and show them it's really about organization and priorities prioritization. So, highlight those skills. Um, make sure na mabanggit mo yun na mag magaling ka doon. You're someone na mahilig mag-ayos-ayos. You're that kind of person. And also, ask about the tasks and responsibilities. Okay? Um, like other jobs, you can be paid per hour or you can be paid in a weekly or a monthly basis. So, um, knowing the tasks and responsibilities will help you decide uh, kung fair ba yung in-offer nila na weekly or monthly uh, payment uh, for this. Kasi baka naman um, calendar management nga, but you only need to spend one to two hours a day. Or minsan naman, you need to spend a solid block of eight hours. 